Hey, hey, hey! I'm going to be giving you some warm market prospecting tips, specifically talking about warm market differentiation. So, how many of you are familiar with Eric Worre? And he's often said that you are either punished or rewarded for the life you led before network marketing. Ray Higdon was the first person, the first trainer, that I ever heard talk about um, warm market differentiation. What it is, is if you are someone who is seen as successful, uh, you have really, you know, a really receptive warm market, you've got great rapport, people in your warm market see you as the business type, they see you as somebody who is very successful. If that is the case, then what you would want to do when prospecting is you would want to lead with business. You would want to lead with the opportunity. If you are someone who Eric Worre would say is punished for the life you led before network marketing and you are someone who does not have great rapport with your warm market, you're not somebody that's seen as, you know, super successful, you're not somebody that's seen as business savvy, um, if that's the case, you would want to lead with the product. An example as far as some language you could use would be if you're, you know, talking to your friends and family, you could say, hey, you know, I know the business is not a fit for you. I know you're not interested in the business whatsoever, but I really think you'd like the product. And what you'll find with that is you're going to get some people that might say, you know, well, why wouldn't the business be for me? You know, and Ray's talked about using that and, you know, people getting recruits that way. If you've got a great receptive warm market, you can pretty much say whatever and um, people would jump on board with you. And I'm going to give you an example. Ray was talking about being at an event once and this guy gets up on stage, tells the crowd how, you know, the first 60 people that he talked to uh, about joining the network marketing company he was with joined. And so, of course, like everybody's frantic, like, you know, crapping in their pants, wanting to know, you know, the magic, you know, what's the magic script. But here's the thing, you know, it, that guy could have said probably anything to his warm market because he was seen as successful. So, you know, I hate seeing examples like that because it's not what he said that got people to join. It was who he was as a person before he joined network marketing that got him those 60 signups. And when I and I've seen this before in my particular network marketing company I'm with, I am in a group specifically for our consultants. And you know, this um, leader gave a shout out to one of his teammates um, in the group because it was several months back. She had uh, over 50 orders in one month. And when that post went up in that group, it was like a freaking frenzy. Like everybody was going crazy, messaging her, you know, wanting to know what is it that you said? You know, what did you do for her? She was somebody who she's looked at as successful. She's got rapport. Um, with her warm market and they're very receptive and I laugh because I'm like she could have probably told them you know I'm selling this cow manure and it's gonna make your skin like beautiful and your pores appear smaller and people would probably buy so I just want you guys to keep that in mind I hope you guys found value in this this is something that you know you found benefit from Feel free to share this out. For more tips, you can visit SherryBrownCoaching.com. And until next time, bye.